painting or dance or a filmmaker or architect, I always try to bottle that essence of their work. What are they trying to say? What emotions they're evoking? Because I feel that that element of communication, while we are looking at the pieces of art or if customer is coming and trying to buy my dress, I think that that's what really triggers the most exciting moments with all of us. I was always surrounded with uh, art and design. My mom is a big and passionate collector of many different things. Uh, but I think um, it was probably through my high school when we also had uh, history of art lessons. That was the time when I really started to be particularly drawn to art. My selection is very personal, is very much something that I believe, that I love and that I would like to support. Curry's inspired many of my previous collections. What I love about this particular piece that it has also like a strong link to architecture. It's almost um, like a sculpture that becomes piece of the space itself. What I love about Alexandra's work is that there is this uh, big contrast that is uh, between technology um, and the future and something very intimate and human of the past. Sotheby's are such an institution and uh, it was an absolute pleasure to work with Boris from the Contemporary Art Department. This one is actually one of the first pieces that I, before we even spoke for the first time, I thought you were going to love. Yes. Simply looking at yes. your sort of designs and Absolutely. his use of colour, <laughs> but also texture and very minimal yet really colourful um, yes. aesthetic. I also think that this is very interesting, the combination of green mm -hmm. and this aubergine. The green becomes much more vibrant against the aubergine. I loved uh, Philippe Anton's work, particularly because of the colour. When I start my collection, it's all about the colour. Rob Prout's piece, I was really drawn to that splashes of pink, quite strong, quite bold and done in such a free way. Fashion is all about body perception of beauty that our society is actually telling us. There are many talks in fashion now about changing that, about diversity, which is really positive. And, um, and interestingly, this piece relates to it perfectly. It's incredibly layered. I mean, her work, like so many of the female artists of her generation, has been ignored for too long, you could say. Yes. Um, but she's finally getting the attention she deserves. For many different reasons, female artists were slightly in a shadow or maybe not presented enough or maybe not supported enough. And because I'm in this lucky position to be able to support them, I decided to do that. Joanna Vasconcelos, she's really not afraid to make things bold and, and contrast. And so it's that texture and the color that particularly draw me to her. So with, with this particular piece, there is that kind of sense of movement. I also like the scale. The scale is quite small. It felt very intimate in a way. There's something very unexpected in Tunga's work. It's a piece that kind of makes you think and question certain things and definitely was one of my favorites. The selection is absolutely wonderful. What is great is just to feel a certain emotional attachment to the piece. But what is great as well that those pieces are kind of, shall I say, a bit more affordable. So I'm very happy to be part of such auction that actually it's opening doors to people who are just starting to collect art and people who are collecting art but um, are kind of looking to add to their collections as well. Mm -hmm.